Hey you guys, it's your girl Tina. I want to go ahead and talk about this really disturbing story. And once again, it's coming from our first favorite state, wretched ass Florida, okay? So this story is heartbreaking. When I first heard about it, like it literally made me cry. Um, it's about a man, he's 31 years old. His name is James Dearman. And basically he's a single father of two kids. He has a boy and a girl. And what happened is that the night before Christmas, the kids were really excited. They're five and six years old. He has a living girlfriend. Her name is Ashley Cole. So what happened is that the night before Christmas, the kids refused to go to sleep. They were in their bedroom running around. You know, they just really, really excited. He got upset. He told both the kids to go ahead and face the wall and to not say anything. So the kids were sitting there facing the wall and his six-year-old son happened to look back and he was watching his father play video games. So the father got so upset at the fact that his six-year-old was not staring at the wall but watching him play video games that he grabbed him, he threw him on the couch, and then he proceeded to smother the little boy. Meanwhile, the little boy is screaming and crying. His sibling is watching everything go on. The girlfriend is watching everything go on. Little boy is screaming. He's saying that he can't breathe. He has to use the bathroom. The man continues to smother his son. Then afterwards, he finally gets up after 10 minutes of sitting on the little boy. Okay, the little boy is pinned to the couch. He gets up. The little boy is not really moving. They don't think anything about it. Him and his girlfriend go outside to go smoke. They come back in. The little boy's entire face and lips are all blue. The little boy could not breathe. They end up calling 911, and this little boy ended up dying at the hospital. When I tell you this story, just it just pisses me off to the highest level of pistivity. Go ahead and check out this news clip. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Please tell us James Dearman pinned his son to the couch and cut off his air supply all while he was playing video games. ABC Action News reporter Lauren Rosella reveals what authorities say prompted the violence and what's next for this father. Sheriff's deputies are still out here monitoring the Englewood home where they say that this child died. They also say that this all started after two kids wouldn't go to sleep on Christmas Eve. Oh my God. No, I didn't know that. Neighbor Avis Klein is heartbroken. This is the happy child she says she saw playing just down the street from her along with his young sister. Just normal little kids, yeah, they were boisterous and they ran around, but they stayed in their own yard. Uh, not a bother to anybody. Now deputies say this young boy is dead at the hands of his own father. No, I, I can't, I can't fathom it. According to an arrest affidavit, when the kids wouldn't go to sleep Christmas Eve, James Dearman made the kids stand against the wall. But then his six-year-old boy turned to look at the television as Dearman and live-in girlfriend Ashley Cole were playing video games. According to the affidavit, that's when Dearman became angry and pinned the boy to the couch. At 6'1 and 270 pounds, Dearman easily held the boy down despite the boy's screams to stop. His sibling later told police their brother couldn't breathe and screamed and begged to use the bathroom before he became unconscious. Soon after, investigators say Cole and Dearman left the child on the couch to have a cigarette in the garage. When they came back, they found the child not breathing and called 911. Dearman is now charged with aggravated child abuse and is being held without bond in the Sarasota County Jail. The other child is now in protective custody. In Inglewood, Lauren Rosella, ABC. All right, so you guys just watched that news clip. So another thing that bothered me in this story is if you read the article, it says that these children didn't even have a bed in their bedroom. These children slept on blankets. So what I find funny is that this shitty ass fucking father, okay, can afford a video game system. He can afford an Xbox or an Xbox One or a PlayStation, whatever the fuck system he has. He can afford that, but you can't afford to get your kids something as simple as an air mattress to sleep on, something as simple as a futon to sleep on. You had them sleeping on the hard floor on a blanket while you're playing on a video gaming system. Another thing that bothers me is the fact that the girlfriend sat there and watched this go on. You know, it's really sad how people want to play the role of step-parent, but when it comes to actually parenting a child, they fall back and let the real parent do whatever, even if they know that the real parent is all the way in the wrong. Third of all, what child sleeps on Christmas Eve? He wanted these kids in bed at 7.30. No kids want to go to bed on damn Christmas Eve. My kids refuse to go to sleep. They bug me all day Christmas Eve. From the time I woke up on Christmas Eve, around 11 o'clock in the morning, they have been bugging me to open their presents. No, y'all's not opening up anything. 
Can we open them up now? No. Three hours later, can we open them up now? No. I finally let them open up their presents around 11-ish, 11.30. What child will go to bed on Christmas Eve? They want to open up their presents. If they even had any presents at all. And how do you get mad because these kids are really excited about Santa Claus? They're excited about their gifts. And you're upset because the little boy is watching you play video games? Are you fucking kidding me? Like this story just, it's just so stupid. I just, I'm to the point, you know, I've never been one to say that, you know, you know, you shouldn't have kids. And I'm to the point where these stories are just so crazy. They make no sense. And I really feel like just some people, they need to take a test before they just procreate and have children. This man does not deserve to be called a father. This man had no business having children if he lacked this much patience. You're that upset because these kids will not go to bed at 7.30 at night while the sun is still out? Like, are you serious right now? You're that upset because your son is watching you play video games? And then when he's sitting there screaming to you in agony that, Dad, I can't breathe. Dad, I have to go to the bathroom. You sit there and you put more force on him to the point where you smother him in a couch? What a horrible death for that young man. What a horrible, horrible death. This story literally broke my heart. If this isn't some trailer park trash shit, I don't know what the hell is. This is some bullshit, and it's even more bullshit that the state of Florida is only charging him with aggravated child abuse. Why are these charges not being raised to murder? What he did was kill that boy in cold blood. The whole situation was bullshit to me, and not only should he be charged, but the girlfriend should be charged as well for sitting there watching this and allowing this to happen. She never once got up. She never once tried to pull him out the boy. She never once tried to stop the father, and I think that that's just bullshit. They both need to be sitting their ass in jail right now. Anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing story that's once again coming from our first favorite state, Ratchet Ass Florida. All right. Deuces. Hey guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.